What got you into home brewing? Basically, in 1995, uh, the only thing you could find on the local shelves was fizzy, frozen, and flavorless. I had to do something to give me give me more control and give me give me what I wanted on a regular basis. Right. So you're tired of the the big market beers. Big market, little flavor, yeah. For me, it was um, Paul and her Hefeweizen. It was the first kind of major, not crappy beer that I drank. And me and a buddy started hunting down all the cool beers in town and traveling. And after a little while, we find out, well, you can make it yourself. So we still go out and try to find these cool beers, but then we also start making beers ourselves. And that's, that's really when it all just spiraled out of control. I highly praise uh, Samuel Adams marketing because, you know, 10 years ago, um, when you were looking at the Sea of Beer commercials, theirs was the one that talked about the ingredients right. and the process and the quality of their product. When it came time to like choose where I spent my money, um, I started going to, to Samuel Adams and branching out into weird stuff like Dogfish Head. And uh, you know, after trying many, many, many beers, I decided I could do it myself and taught myself how to homebrew. There's an element of creating something. I, I, I kind of like that, you know, because I, I can sit down on the computer and I can work out a recipe, right. and you know, try and put things together, elements, different flavor compos compositions, and stuff like that, and then actually make it happen. Mm -hmm.